In this video, we discuss about the stock, that how to enter a stock or inventory in Sage 50. So we have three options that you can use this tab, Inventory and Services. And here you can click this option, Inventory Items or the company services. Or you can click on this Maintain tab and here we have this Inventory Items or you can click on the list and there we have inventory uh, and services and you can select inventory and services here all three are same so we click on this maintain tab and we select inventory items in this inventory items First, you need to give an item ID that is 1000, press tab, then you need to give the description for the stock item you have in your storeroom or in the warehouse. So for example, we have this keyboard, Then we have this item class. We have different item class here. The first one that is stock item. The item which you purchase for the resale purpose, that is our stock item in Sage 50. In the next videos, we will cover one by one. We will create all these different stock items one by one. So in this video, we are covering the stock item, the item which you purchase for the resale purpose. That is our stock item in Sage. Then if you want to make this stock inactive, you can click this option. Subject to commission. If this item is subject to commission for your salesman, you can check this option. And then we have this four different tabs here. The first one that is a journal tab where you need to enter the journal information about the keyboard about the stock. This is a description for sale or for purchase. I'm going to mention it for the sales. That is a default one. Here you can write the description that this is a keyboard uh, that is an HP keyboard that is an Acer keyboard. You can mention the product name, the brand name. Then we have this price level you can set up multiple price level for your different customers for customer a you are giving them 30 dirham for customer b you are giving them 35 dirham you can set up a regular price and the different billing rate or different price level for your different customers then that is a last unit cost we will enter this unit cost in the beginning balances here then we have costing method either you are using uh, LIFO, FIFO or average we're going to use here the average method then you need to enter the GL sales account so we have this sales account that is 401 enter you need to enter the inventory account that is 108 enter and you need to enter the cost of sales account we're going to enter here the purchase 501 enter so why we enter these accounts here whenever you purchase an item the stock will be increased and whenever you sell any item or sold any item your stock will be decreased so that's why we enter these uh, the GL sales account inventory and cost of goods sold purchases account then item text type that is one then you need to enter this UPC or SKU units that is a tracking information that is typically like mentioned in the barcode of whatever the item it is then you need to enter the item type for example that is electronics that is a limited characters so I just enter this is electronics location in which location it is located that is not in our Dubai warehouse then stock unit measure uh, unit measurement that how you measure this stock 
uh, we're gonna men, uh, measure this in numbers then if you want to enter the weight you can mention the weight here that what is the minimum stock level that you always want to have for this item in your storeroom so you can mention that and then we have this reorder quantity uh, that uh, what is a reorder quantity you can mention here then we have this prefer vendor id that usually like that is a vendor that you usually purchase this item from then we have this buyer id that that is your particular employee or sales rep is responsible who's buying this item for the company then this beginning item we will cover this topic in uh, in the next video this beginning item where you need to enter the beginning uh, balances the opening quantity and the prices here so click this option to save so that is how you set up an inventory as a stock item in Sage 50.